Now circling with the standing of a sentinel Putting up the hours in Toward Well, I was just very into playing instruments when I grew up. It was much more about learning to play stuff rather than yes. getting a back catalogue of stuff that I listened to. And um, I started really getting into listening to music when I was about 15. It was when I saw um, the video for Loser by Beck on MTV when I was, we finally got MTV when I was 15. And that was the moment where I just went, wow, there's a whole load of other stuff going on that I find more exciting. I mean, I think films and TV are a really exciting place now for new artists because they're very into, I think they're very into breaking stuff. They like the challenge of taking someone new and introducing everyone to, to you know, shows like Grey's Anatomy and whatnot. They, they, they'll often really champion new artists. So it's a really important platform when you're just starting out to get something like that. And um, yeah, it was just a proper kind of planets aligned and I managed to get the best placement of a song at the beginning of a movie where they pretty much used the whole song without any dialogue on top of it. So it was, um, it was pretty thrilling to go into a, a little movie theater in North Carolina in the middle of my tour to go and watch that with two other people in this tiny cinema and watch, watch the credits. It was really, really cool. Been, I'd been working hard at the same time. I'd, been, um, I'd also appeared on the Today Show. They'd been a huge champion from the beginning. And uh, I went into their office on a Tuesday with my guitar to play them Black Horse and the Cherry Tree. And the booker said, what are you doing on Friday? And I came back and it was a huge opportunity. So that too. And then one of the contestants on Pop Idol covered it for the final. Um, Black Horse and the Cherry Tree. And so there was a few things that all happened at the same time. And, and also me being there for almost a year and a half, solidly living on a bus and going back and forth across the country and, and trying to get people into what I was doing. And it really has paid off so wonderfully because now I can come back to North America and yeah. you know play and people yeah. turn up, which is yeah. the dream, really. Uh, well, this uh, this record um, I made in Tucson, Arizona. So it was it was it's lovely to come back and play it in North America, where there's you know the landscape is closer to home. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be touring this one for a month uh, in North America, and then I have a, U a UK tour. Uh, back home and um, and then I kind of just see what happens. I'm going over to Australia, Japan, New Zealand in the new year and uh, I really want to get back to South America because that's an absolutely amazing place to play gigs. They're right. an incredible audience. Probably, uh, They're full place. on, yeah. They don't hold back. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting pretty like a bird But the hunter is out And the eagle is served. wait and see what happens with this record because it's um it's it's quite fresh out the, the blocks so I I am um, I quite like that initial not knowing of what's gonna happen with it but um I've uh, been writing an animation script with a friend who produced Jim Abbas who produced my last record Tiger Suit and uh, it's a really 
exciting project for us. We're going to be doing an electronic soundtrack to it as well and so we're just starting to see what we can do with that and uh, an animated show an animated movie. Oh, movie yeah so fingers crossed it's quite a big project to do an animated movie yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> we don't know yet yeah. but it's uh it's got a good punk spirit to it so we'll see Hi, I'm Katie Tunstall and you're watching Global Montreal Morning News.